I'm Jahane, and I normally don't wear these in videos, but for today's purpose, I think I better. So, the last three days have been really impactful for me. Um, we've had this chapel speaker, um, Dr. Doreen, and she has been so fabulous on this campus that I'm really sad because she's leaving today. Um, but she's like a media technology expert, and... Today we, we've been talking the last few days about technology and how that influences us and who we are as a person and how much we are addicted to media and to those sorts of things. And it got me thinking because I've always tried to be someone who's not, you know, tries not to be influenced by the media. I've always tried to be that way. But I begin to realize how I waste so much time just scrolling through Facebook to keep myself entertained and how I am constantly plugged in to the media and how it's beginning, I realize, to dictate who I think I am. I've been going through, I think, this quarter-life crisis since I've stepped foot on this campus. And it's like I'm trying to figure out who I am as a person. And I realize that even if I try to stay away from the media... I'm still going to be who the media has influenced me to be. You see, when we look at technology and we look at what other people have, when we look, when we scroll through a Facebook feed, what we're seeing isn't reality. We're seeing only the good stuff in life. We're seeing the doctored images and the happy posts. But we don't see the truth. Because sometimes we're so caught up in what our phone is doing that we don't see reality. You see, what you see on the screen isn't real. Because what you're seeing right now is me a person yeah but if you met me on the street I wouldn't be the same person that you see behind the camera you see I can put on this fake idea of who I am when I'm on the camera I can be vivid I can be alive I can be an extrovert I can talk to people and act like I know things and you know be full of life and vitality. But if you met me on the street, you'd meet a very, very shy girl who's scared to talk to people. If you ask me a question, it usually get a three-word answer back. Because I have such... I have terrible like social anxiety and that sort of thing. So when I'm on YouTube, you're kind of watching a lie. Not that when I cry on YouTube, I'm lying to you or when I'm you know when I'm talking about things I'm not lying to you that's how I feel but what you see right now is the Jahane I want to be not the Jahane I really am because I want to be this person this youtuber with passion and and you can just talk about anything for 10 minutes straight but in real life I'm really shy I'm afraid to raise my hand in class because I like being who I'm not. But as I began to realize how much the media is lying to us and how much the media is influencing us, you know, I began to realize who I really am. You see, I've created this persona on the internet of this person who's likes to talk and who likes to chat and who likes to be a youtuber and and you know you th when people see youtubers on the internet they think oh that person must be so outgoing i'd love to meet them we talk for hours but that's not necessarily the truth and when you see instagram you know that those images were doctored because we're living in this world that's not real when we're online when we're looking at pictures, when we're watching TV, when you're watching YouTube. Because 
we all are starting to look for something, some type of self-gratification of, I need people to tell me that I'm doing something good. Which I think, to be honest, is sometimes why I do YouTube. I want people to watch my videos and say, oh, Jahane, you said something beautiful and powerful. That's not necessarily the whole truth. Sometimes I do YouTube because I have something laying on my heart and I want to share it with somebody or something like that. But not necess you know, that's not the necessarily true because what I'm saying is we're lying to ourselves all the time now because of technology. We can post online this fake life we're living and then look at everyone else's fake lives and forget the real life we're in. We live for likes and comments and shares. I'm not, I'm guilty of this too. Because when you see me, you're not seeing the real me. Because the real me you'd see on the street looks more like this. With glasses and short brown hair. This is who I am. Because, you see, you don't have to be something made up. Because God loves us. We are his children. And we don't need to look like the things we see on the internet. The things the media are trying to feed us. The algorithms. We don't have to appease them. Because we are children of God. We are made in His image. You see? We're made in His image. Do I look like a supermodel? Heck no. But I don't need to look like a supermodel. I need to look like Jahane. Jahane the shy kid with the red glasses. Because that's who I am. I don't... I don't have to... I don't have to be on my phone all the time because I'm bored. Because I'm with God all the time. I can take that time and talk to God because He created me. I don't have to go onto the internet and try to be like those people. Because I have to be like my Heavenly Father. Because He made each and every one of us in His image. Each and every one of us, He made it His own perfect way. He loves us. He created us to be perfect originally. But you see, the sin entered the world. And then we weren't perfect anymore. And we've been falling farther and farther from His heavenly perfection ever since. You see, technology is a lie. The internet lies to you. Not everything on the internet is true. I'm not going to say I'm lying to you, but it's easy for me to be something who I'm not when I'm in front of a camera. I don't know why, but it's so much easier. I, I try to make meaningful relationships in real life, but it's so much easier to get on the internet and talk to a camera. I'm not saying I want to stop doing YouTube, because I love YouTube, and I love those moments when I can have a real experience with somebody that I want to share something with them. That's meaningful to me. But what I'm saying is we live in this world where we begin to become addicted to this fake reality. This world of painted faces, of perfect hair, of perfect bodies, which doesn't exist. No one is perfect. I promise you that. Not a single person who's ever lived, except for one, was perfect. And the only person who was ever perfect wasn't ever on the internet. <laughs>